You might have heard of DevOps and MLOps, but perhaps AIOps might be a new vocabulary for you. And the obvious first question to ask is what makes AIOps different from traditional DevOps and MLOps? Underneath the three disparate terms, DevOps, MLOps, and AIOps, the common element between them is IT operation. In all these practices, the primary focus is in managing proper functioning of the IT systems. And using different terminology beside the term ops, provide the context to what IT system that you're actually trying to manage. For example, software development has been an established field for nearly half a century. And DevOps emerged as a new evolution to abstract away repetitive parts in delivering software into a designated role. And as the industry matured, the roles of DevOps solidified into a well-established set of roles. MLOps emerged in a similar pattern as machine learning started to take shape in the industry around mid-2010s. It borrowed a lot of its practices from the already established DevOps roles like continuous integration and continuous deployment, or CICD, version control and automated testing, and effectively transferred its practice into a machine learning field to address unique challenges that exist in machine learning. Following the same trajectory, the AI industry has been taking shape with the help of generative AI that exploded in popularity starting around the late 2010s and early 2020s. In comparison to traditional software development field, the AI industry is still new in terms of how widely they're used. But due to growing popularity, we needed to again transfer the wisdom and knowledge that gained from DevOps to a much broader AI industry. Hence. AIOps became a necessary role to address the challenges uniquely in artificial intelligence. As you can see, artificial intelligence is a much larger field than machine learning, and the scope of what's being managed is more generalized in comparison to MLOps, which is a more specialized area that manages the workflow involved in training and servicing machine learning models. Also, since generative AI has exploded into popularity, the complexity and the scale of managing AI systems have also grown as well. So while MLOps focus on the workflow and the life cycle revolving around training machine learning models, AIOps, in contrast, deals with a broader scope that monitors the operations of those models themselves. So roles here for AI ops would include things like real-time analytics to identifying efficiency issues in real time, monitoring predictive analysis for potential issues, and identifying anomalies in the system. With AI ops, the goal is to manage the overall health of the AI systems rather than the workflow that's involved in developing and training the AI models themselves, which is what happens in MLOps. So a more specialized roles like MLOps or DevOps that manage one or more components within the IT ecosystem, AIOps help observe the overall AI portfolio and prioritize what's important and observe those metrics to help deliver a more reliable AI systems as a whole. As AI systems catch up to being a more mature system, like the traditional software development industry, AIOps is becoming more popular since relying on AI systems is becoming more normal. So being able to recognize ahead of time what is important to measure and actually help and solve the issues and become critical in ensuring stability and reliability of AI-driven infrastructures.